seeing her shots fired in the direction. Is he sure? Any confirmation of that? No, not yet. All right. Who's on point? Excuse me. Uh, it should be Schultz and Crowder. All right. Schultz? Thanks. Schultz? Do you hear me? Do you copy? Did you hear shots? <laughs> okay. Get as close as you can to back up Moran's people. All right. What? Oh, man. This is so bad. There's so much noise from the falls and the helicopters that the guys can't hear each other. Well, well, what about the shots? I don't have any confirmation of that. It was, maybe it was Vanessa firing a warning shot. Or maybe she off. shot Leo Greenlee. Chief, what? My men are moving into position now. Okay, well, what is your status on the sharpshooter in the helicopter? When I can find a break in the trees, one that will give them a clear view, they'll be able to take Cortland down. So right now they're just adding to the noise out there. We need their eyes. All right, yeah, this is ridiculous. Vanessa's not going to shoot me. I'm going up there. No, David, no. Is this guy a civilian? Again. I'm not a civilian. I'm her son. That's great, but it's not Brad. a guarantee that you won't get killed. Brad, back off. Yes, ma'am. David, we are handling this. You understand? That's my brother up there. I know. And my mother. What makes you think that she wouldn't shoot you? Because as screwed up as she is, she's not going to kill her own son. If that were true, why would you be so worried about Leo? Uh, because what if, what if he screws up, okay? He, he pushes her, or he says the wrong thing. I'm not going to Come it. on, I thought you David, would understand this. I won't allow you to put my people in danger. You're not going up there. You stay here. negotiator move into position. No one gains access without my permission. You understand? No one. First team, tighten up. Well, oh, this is wonderful. While you're down here playing supercar, my brother's up there with his life in danger. No one's playing anything, David. We don't know what we're up against yet. I shouldn't even allow you to be this close. You're only here because it's your family. I can get them down here without anybody getting hurt. I swear I can. You would I like can. to believe that, but I can't risk it. Anna, let me try, please. I can reach her. Damn it! You, you haven't been able to use your hostage negotiator or this, this SWAT team that's sticking around waiting for the perfect shot. I don't need to remind you how Vanessa manipulated the entire psychiatric community. That has nothing to we do with this. We are trying to save lives here, David. I won't endanger your officers, okay? I will sign papers releasing your department of any responsibility regarding my well-being. But please, please let me try this. Chief Devane. Yes? EMS needs to discuss vehicle deployment. Anna. 10 11. Thank you. Dr. Hayward gets no closer to that stairs than he already is. You can cuff him and put him in a squad car if you need to. Yes. We have confirmation that two shots were fired, presumably by Vanessa. Presumably? Well, that's great. That's the best your Keystone cops can do. David, we are taking this slow because we care very much about the lives at stake. They wouldn't be at stake if you let me talk to my mother. I can't do that. I don't give a damn about procedure. Well, I do. I'm responsible for all these people's lives. You see them? All these people. I can make a difference. I know I can. No ego now, David. No. That's not what this is about, and you know it. We just tried to move in our hostage negotiation. Yeah, and look how great that worked out. Yes. Your mother threatened to shoot him and Greenlee. But she will talk to me. What else will she do? Then? Nothing. Nothing. I will divert her. I swear. No, you stay here. Anna, please listen to me. Look, a stranger is not the solution here, okay? I can handle my mother better than anyone. No, you know, I think that Leo can, if anyone can. Somebody has a gun pointed at his head. I know that, damn it. Oh, for crying out loud, I've seen Vanessa like this, okay? I know what will set her off. It's a bit late now. Oh, please. Nobody could have predicted this. My point exactly. Your mother is so irrational that if we put you in her range, it is suicide. No, no. She will not shoot me. You don't know that. I do know that. Because I'm her son. She would not kill her son. You want to trust her warped principles? She's mad, David. What? what? We have to stop this. What this I want to do is anyway. save Greenlee's life. So do I. And I want to give Leo back the life that he deserves, okay? The happiness that he's earned. Please, so Anna. stay out of this, please. Radio will be back sake. when you have Portland in your sights. All right, we've got three men moving closer in a triangle formation. When and if they have a clean, clear shot, do you want them to take it? 
Anna, Anna, no, wait. You, you can't. You can't just open fire. We're, we're talking about Leo and Greenlee here. No one's gonna fire unless they get a clean shot at Vanessa without harm. How do you know that? You're down here! None of my people will, start, will discharge their weapon Anna, until we please, give them the please, order to do so. You can so. stop this, all right? Just give me a chance. Give me give me 20 minutes, 10 minutes, okay? I, 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 can, I can reach her. I, I can reason with her, I swear. Reason with her? If that were possible, none of us would be here. David, let me do my job. Did you talk to your officer in the helicopter? We have confirmation of two shots fired. Yes. And it appears that Mrs. Cortland is the only one armed. Anna, please, please. She's too unstable. We can't risk it. You tell your men, if they get a clean shot at Vanessa, to take it. Don't. You've got a great wife. if you can help him bring you down Kenyon and Smythe, all right? Go. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Thanks. I know you see reason. David, stay here. Anna, I can't. I can't. I mean, if something happens to Leo, I couldn't live with myself. Please. Leo's gone. 